most. I'm gonna give you three tips to help you improve your skills faster. Soccer skills that players actually need. Number one is an emphasis on drills over technique. And if you wanna improve faster, I want you to look at it the other way. Put more emphasis on your technique than the actual drill. Because we think the harder the drill, the more it's gonna challenge my skills. But what you really need to focus on is the quality of the technique. We're focused on the uh, details of the drill rather than the detail in the technique. What I need is to practice better technique on a basic drill just like this and not worried about the number, worried about the quality in the technique. This leads me into my next point, which is analysis. You have to learn how to analyze what you're doing if you want to improve faster. Let's say you're doing a shooting drill. Most players will do the shooting drill. Let's say they miss the net. And a lot of us, we have the tendency to miss shots in the exact same way. Because of our body mechanics or just the way that we're used to shooting, we usually do the same thing. Tendency for a right footer, go across the body to the left. Tendency for left footer, go across to the right. But the problem is you make that mistake and you get a chance again and you keep making the same mistake. And instead of thinking about why is that happening, actually analyzing it, we just get frustrated with ourselves and we move on to something else. Don't get mad at yourself, just analyze your technique. Obviously, look at my body positioning. I'm facing that way. That's why the ball went there. I followed through across my body. I didn't follow through towards the target. Stop and think about why does it keep doing that? So I know my tendency is to go there. Well, next time I have to fix that. And I have to go there, I have to go straight. I have to change my technique. You need to be able to get outside of yourself and actually look at what your body is doing. Okay, it's a skill you'll develop over time. As you get older, it gets easier. But if I keep making the same mistake, I cannot allow myself to continue to do that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stay the same player. So be aware, be very aware of your mistakes and ask yourself, why is that happening? So the next time, I can change it, I can fix it. Just don't go there, because you went there the last 10 times. I can shank it way up here if I need to. But I can't keep making the same mistake. Make a different mistake and then I'll learn from it. But I'll compensate and then I'll usually end up going exactly where I want to go, straight down the middle. We all want to improve, but some of us need to learn to be honest with ourselves. We're expecting to get results without actually putting in enough work. It takes time. It takes consistency and it takes time. So number one, be patient. Realize this is long-term development. Whatever age you are right now, improvement doesn't stop. Every year you're playing, you have to get better but believe me, you're gonna have way more fun if every time you step on the pitch, you feel better. You feel like you're a better player, you're making a bigger impact on the game. So, realize it's a long-term development, it takes time to get better. If you're not seeing the results in one day, don't get frustrated with yourself. Just plug away with it, use these ideas that we talked about, actually focusing on technique, learning how to analyze yourself, and putting in consistent practice. I would rather you do something in small amounts every single day than a big portion once a week. What do you need to improve? Maybe it's your passing. Maybe it's your 1v1 skill. Maybe it's your shooting. Find a way to put that into your daily practice consistently. And if you do those things, you're consistent with your training, you learn how to analyze, don't allow yourself to make the same mistakes, and you focus more on the technique rather than the complexity of the drill, you will improve your skills a lot faster. Share this video with soccer players, footballers all around the world because this is information that we all need to hear.